Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.17 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is A. Use the not voltage method to find the total power developed in the circuit in this figure. And then B. Check your answer by finding the total power absorbed by the circuit. Okay, let's do exactly that. Maybe first let's let's use the bottom most node here as our ground here and then let's assume the direction of the current this is a current source so i just follow the arrow here and then maybe this is going to the bottom this i just follow this i delta arrow here so we, we are going to the right and this one maybe let's go down and let's also go down from this node here and for this one i think i will go to the right and now let's let's mark this as va okay this node here as va and let's set this node here as vb okay vb and then what can we get from here uh this is 5i delta from the ground so this is 5i delta and what is i delta we can see here so let's put a note here uh, no that i delta is equal to va minus vb divided by the resistance between them which is 5 ohm 5 okay now let's get started by analyzing kcl at node a okay let's do exactly that kcl at node va and kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay and the only current that goes in is this 5 ampere resistor i mean 5 ampere current source so we will have 5 here and all other currents is going out so this one here is VA over 15. So I have VA over 15. And then plus this one here, that will be VA minus VB divided by 5. So we'll have VA minus VB divided by 5. Okay, let's multiply this by 15 maybe. So we will have this. 75 on the left hand side and 15 and 15 will cancel each other so we will have va here and 5 and 15 will cancel into 3 so i will have 3 va and then minus 3 vb okay va plus 3 va is just 4 va and then here we will have minus 3 vb and all of that will equal to 75 Okay, I think we cannot do anything more than this. Let's save this as equation number one and let's move on to KCL at node B. Let's do that. KCL at node VB. Okay, again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, and the only current that goes in is this one here. So we'll have VA minus VB over 5 in the left hand side. And that will equal to here we will have VB over 30. So we'll have VB over 30. And then plus we also have VB over 10. VB over 10. And then we will also have vb minus 5 i delta that should be minus right yeah because this is the sign is minus okay so we'll have vb minus minus 5 i delta okay and then divided by 30. okay uh and i think i will multiply all of that by 30 to cancel out all the denominator okay 
and 5 and 30 will cancel into 6. So on the left hand side, we'll have 6VA minus 6VB. And then VB over 30 and 30 will cancel into VB. And this one will cancel into 3VB. And for this one, we will have plus 30 and 30 will cancel each other. So we will have VB here and then plus 5. I delta. Okay. And let's see what can we do from here. I still have a 6VA here. 6VA. And then minus. Minus 6VB. But then this will be minus 7VB. And then minus 10VB. And then minus 11VB. Okay. So we'll have minus 11 pb here and that will equal to 5i delta 5i delta however i delta is this one so we will have pa minus vb divided by 5 okay this will cancel each other and we can move this va to the left hand side so we'll have 5 va and we can also move this VB to the left hand side. So I will have minus 10 VB. And all of that will equal to 0. Okay, or maybe let's continue that. 5 VA is equal to 10 VB. So VA is equal to 2 VB. Okay, maybe this is equation number two. We can substitute equation number two to equation number one. Maybe let's use different color here. Okay, because VA is 2VB, we will have 8VA, 8 8VB 8 here, right? So we'll have 8VB minus 3VB is equal to 75. And so we'll have 5VB is equal to 75 or VB will equal to 15 volt. But then what is VA? VA is 2 VB. Okay, so we'll have VA is 2 VB. That will be 30 volt. Okay, maybe let's, let's save this important value here that VA is 30 volt and then VB is 15 volt. Okay, let's clean up the board and calculate the power. Okay, maybe let's calculate the power that is absorbed by the resistor. So, the total power dissipated, maybe dissipated by the resistor. Okay. Okay, maybe let's start from this 15, 15 here. So the power of the 15 ohm there. So we have P 15 ohm. That will equal to P A squared divided by 15, right? So we have P A squared divided by 15. And what is V A? V A is 30. So we have 30 squared or 30 multiplied by 30 divided by 15. So this will cancel into 2 and we will have 60 watt. Okay, that is for that 15 ohm. And let's move on to this 5 ohm. So we will have the P of that 5 ohm. That will be equal to VA minus VB squared divided by 5. Okay. And VA minus VB is 15, so we'll have 15 multiplied by 15, because 15 squared, right, divided by 5. This will cancel into 3, and we will have 45 watt. And then, let's continue. We still have this one, so we will have this 13 ohm. Okay, so we'll have P 13 ohm, and that will be VB squared divided by the resistance which is 30 and VB is 15 so we'll have 15 multiplied by 15 
divided by 30 and this will cancel into 2 so I will have 7 and 7.5y okay that's good now let's play the same game for the 10 ohm and we will have Vb squared divided by 10 so we'll have 15 multiplied by 15 divided by 10 and that will be 22.5 watt that is for this 10 ohm resistor okay now for the last one we will have this 30 ohm resistor okay and so we'll have p30 ohm p30 ohm maybe let's calculate the i delta first because that will make things easier i delta is va minus vb divided by 5 and then we will have 30 minus 15 divided by 5 so 15 divided by 5 that will be 3 ampere right and so for the 30 ohm here we will have this vb here okay vb and then minus minus that will be plus plus 5 i delta and that will be square divided by 30 okay and okay what is vb vb is 15 and i delta is 3 so 15 plus 15 so we'll have 30 multiplied by 30 divided by 30 okay and so we'll have 30 watt okay so for the resistor we have total of Okay, let's see the total. So maybe let's use calculator to avoid any mistakes. Okay, we will have 60 plus 45 plus 7.5 plus 22.5 and then plus 30. Okay, we will have 165 watt. 165 watt okay and now let's let's do the supplies the this let's do the supplies uh, the supplies we will have the power of 5 ampere the power of 5 ampere we have 5 multiplied by VA, right? 5 by V uh, multiplied by VA, 5 multiplied by 30, that will have 150. And then the power of 5i delta, that will be this current here, okay? This current is. Let's see, that current is Vb, Vb plus, Vb plus 5i delta, and then divided by 30, and then multiplied by the voltage, which is 5i delta, 5i delta. Okay, let's just plug the numbers here vb is 30 and ia is 3 so we'll have 15 plus 15 that will be 30 and 30 divided by 30 is 1 and then 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 so 15 1 okay so the total is also 165 Okay, so the total power developed here is 165 watt because of this one. We can check this one and then check uh, your answer by finding the total power absorbed. So we will have 165 watt also. This is the same.
And I think that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.